Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Squad Builder Showdown Project. Now, I've realised that isn't actually that dramatic, when you have literally no idea what the Squad Builder Showdown Project is, but that is the point of this video, where we're going to explain all the rules and how this is going to work to you guys, and you are going to help me basically design it and make this series. So, as you can see by the thumbnail, it is based around Squad Builder Showdown, and as you can see by the cards, I need your guys' help. So, I'm going to lay down the foundations for you guys now, and you guys are going to help me work out the rewards and the punishments as we go through this series. Now, all of this will make sense as I properly explain this to you. I thought I'd do an introduction video to this rather than tacking this on the front of a of the first episode, basically, or of the first couple of showdown in this series, because A, it means we don't have a 40 minute video for the first one, and B, it means you guys can actually help me and give me some feedback before we've even started, and it can be as much your series as it is mine, with in terms of design and the punishments and rewards and the form factor and all that sort of stuff, which we will get into. Now, usually, when I record the Squabble of Showdown and when I record the video, I just sort of turn the camera on and words come out of my mouth. Now, with this one, there is actual things that I need to go through. So, you're going to have to excuse me as I look at my phone to make sure I get all of the important details in. So, this is called the Squabble of the Showdown Project as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail. And for all intents and purposes, all of the videos in it are just going to be Squabble the Showdowns. However, a lot of them are going to be Squabble the Showdowns with a twist, and it all builds up to the final Squabble the Showdown against the best FIFA player in the world, the man who has won the most trophies, F2 Tex. is the champion, and he will host the trophy defeating Tuga, three-time champion in the FIFA 19 season. Pre-patch, post-patch, it's not a problem for F2 Tex. And there it is, the cross-console champion, Donovan Hunt, AKA F2 Tex, has done it yet again for the third time. The first player to do so, record setting. Incredible scenes here from Atlanta. It's a big one. It is arguably the end of my club when we play against that man. So I am going to need all of the help that I can possibly get. And that is where the form factor comes into it. So we have got at the moment a blank, very rough representation of form, as you guys can see here. It is blank, it's full of question marks because it's to be filled in by me and with the help of you guys. So I want you to get your comments down in the comment section as to what you think these spaces should be filled with. And the way it works is I start off on zero form in the first ever Squabble of Show. And I will probably start off against, as it's just a normal one, maybe against a noob. Maybe it's going to be called Latani. We'll see. We'll see how that goes down. And basically, if we win, we go up one form. And if we lose, we go down one form. Now, there's going to be punishments in the negatives. And there's going to be bonuses or prizes, I suppose you could say, in the positive section that are going to help me. So the idea is to be on the most form possible by the time we play Tex. So that I have got maybe, I don't know, an extra guess in every position, an extra trump card, and he's got to use a silver or something like that. Do you see what I mean? Like, there's, It's going to be levels. So like maybe the first one... We just get an extra guess at the formation or something like that. Something proper crap for one form. And then two form might be an extra trump card. And three form might be an extra guess at his goalkeeper. Whereas four form might be an extra trump card and an extra... Do you see, that? Do you see where I'm going with this? The further up the form we get, the better the prizes are going to be and the rewards are going to be for me for winning them. And the further down the form we get, the worse it's going to be. So we could, for example, only be allowed to pick from normal goalkeepers for form one. Something that's kind of a bit of a punishment, but not really too much. Maybe my opponent gets two trump cards. Maybe I don't get a trump card for form one. Maybe form two is my opponent gets two guesses at my goalkeeper. Maybe negative form three is... I, I don't even know. This is where I want you guys to come in because obviously I can just sit here and design all of these rules myself, but I thought it'd be so much more fun to throw it over to you guys and you can basically help me design this series and see what sort of punishments you guys would like basically it can be it can be literally anything the crazier the better obviously if it's starting to get ridiculous and really really bad punishments or really really big prizes and bonuses and stuff like that it'll have to be put at the top and if we get past plus or minus five form we will cross that bridge when we come to it and invent some more stuff for plus six or minus six seven eight nine ten etc etc but basically just throw down in the comment section you guys have always got loads and loads and loads and loads of crazy ideas for squabble the showdown and i usually like to keep it pretty simple just because it's a tried and tested formula, we've done it a lot, you guys absolutely love it. It is 
if I took my own home, we obviously had the Ultimate FIFA series. We went through all of the FIFA series, but at the end was the best one. Scrubble the showdown, let's be honest. So we've kind of kept it the same because it's a winning formula. But this is the chance for you guys to make it as mental as you want. All of the stupid rules you've ever thought of, pop them down in the comment section. So, like I said, the end is going to be against Tex. Let me just make sure I get the actual key points in here. Only games on my channel count as well. So don't be getting too worried about the farm going mental within the first week. I'm going to aim for three of these per week. Three Team of the Season squad with the showdowns on my channel per week, but only the ones on my channel account because if we did it on the other people's channel as well, A, it'd be really hard to track, and B, that's a lot of squad of the showdowns in the squad of the showdown project, and would mean if we won all the first six, we'd be off the board already. So we're going to keep it simple, and we're going to just have them, just the ones on my channel being the squad of the showdown project. There'll be no ones on other people's channel, but... Just the ones on mine will be part of the Scrub of the Showdown project. We've then got, as you can see, or as you've seen, that board to work our way up. And we've got the form and you guys are going to decide the stuff. That isn't just going to count at the end for Tex. It's not a case of working our way through. And in the very last Scrub of the Showdown against Tex, we finally get to use whatever form we're on. No, we're going to be using it as we go. So if we come up against the Tawny, for example, in the first one and lose as unlikely as that would be. In the next one that we do, we're going to have to try and claw our form back whilst not being able to guess a formation, or by having our formation guess twice, or not having a trump card. Do you see what I mean? So then if we if we lose that one, we're on minus two, and it just becomes an ever more difficult climb back to the top. Whereas if we get off to a cracking start and win, we can hopefully keep the ball rolling and keep gaining form and going up and up and up. And we get to use whichever form level we're on in that episode when we start the episode. So that's going to be good. It's going to be fun. It's going to spice it up. There's going to be loads and loads of crazy stuff. And to be honest with you, that's about as simple as it is that's about as easy as it is explained so just a short video i wanted to put this out here for you guys to a not have to tack this i don't know what we've been recording for like seven minutes or something like that not tack this seven minutes on the start of the first episode which will hopefully be out tomorrow maybe on monday and more importantly just so you guys can help me with the rules and get all the crazy stuff you've always wanted in squabble the showdown popped in this series that's what it's going to be two or three squabble the showdowns per week leading up to f2 text the well some people would say arguably, but I would personally would say the man with the most trophies is the greatest FIFA player, at least on FIFA 19, potentially of all time. And we're going to be taking him on at the end of Team of the Season for the final squabble of showdowns. So this is going to run throughout Team of the Season. When we get to the Ultimate Team of the Season, we'll be taking on the Ultimate FIFA player, which is Tex. And hopefully, by that time, maybe we'll be on like plus eight form and we get two guesses for every single player or something like that. And we can absolutely smash him. He'll have a full bronze team. I'll win and proclaim myself the greatest squad of the showdown of all time. Or maybe we'll be on like minus four form and Tex will delete our whole club. So it could go either way, but we're going to have fun while we do it. We're going to smash through team of the season. It's going to be loads of squad of the showdown projects. And the ultimate team of the season squad of the showdown will be at the very, very end against the main man himself. So pop down in the comment section all of the crazy rules you've got. Some crappy ones, some simple ones, some like really, really basic stuff for the first few episodes where it's plus one, plus two, minus one, minus two. But it's just really, really simple stuff. But if you've got anything that's properly ludicrous, obviously pop that down there as well. It's not a competition. We just want the best rules. So if you see any good ones, drop them a thumbs up, drop them a like, drop them a heart, whatever the bleed now you do on YouTube these days. I don't really know. They constantly keep changing. I can heart things. Maybe you guys can just thumb stuff up. I'll put all the good ones onto the board. We want to make this the best series possible. And yeah. That's about it, to be honest with you. That is the Squabble the Showdown project. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. I'll see you very, very soon for the first one of the series.